guys, welcome to Raven's room. This is Soul. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give you guys a tour of his room because it's like my favorite room ever. So I guess we will start over here. So up here on his wall, we have like moon posters. I don't even remember where we got them. I think by this like little store by the beach. Halloween garland from probably Home Goods. These are actually just dish towels for Halloween. Moon shelf. Skeleton Raven. I think that was from Joann's. This I made. These are dandelions that we collected when he was really little. Another main thing is his wardrobe. This is my favorite part. Over here. So I just put stickers on it to decorate. The moon and the bats and everything are stickers that I think I got from Amazon. So we have his witch hat, his leather jacket, and his broom. This rocking horse I DIY'd um, it was his gift for Yule. I saw a lot of people do it on like Pinterest and Instagram and I was inspired to make him a skeleton rocking horse. These are seashells that we got. We collected like years ago, Josh and I did, and gave them to him. This, I love this book. It's super sweet. It's all the different seasons. This little acorn basket I got from Target. It was like in the bathroom section. Well, I guess I think it's an acorn. Um, and then I put the start of his wooden animals collection. I think these are Holtz Tiger animals that he got for Ostara. Up along the top is this pumpkin. Doc Martens that he grew out of, but I just always wanted to get Doc Martens whenever I had a baby. This little van that we need to paint, his pumpkin friend, and then this Josh sent to him. It's like a coin purse for his allowance. Down here, a lot of his clothes are in the laundry, but I just like having everything hanging up so that he can choose from it. And then also, so that I can easily see what he has since he grows out of everything so fast. Here are some of his shoes. He finally fits into those. And here are like a bunch of hats, like this one. It's my favorite, his wolf hat that is clearly very well worn. That was from Target. I think these are like from Amazon. This we got on vacation when we went to visit the ocean. It's like hand knit. It's perfect. So that's all of those kinds of accessories, like hats. And here is pants. A lot of those are being washed. And then here is like these swim diapers that I kind of hate. And his socks. And then there's his diaper basket. Um, I love him being able to reach everything. Over on the side is his mirror, which is the best because I love that he's able to see himself if he puts on outfits. He loves that cat when he can't have his regular cats, like his real cats near him. He loves to sleep with that cat. Little stool. This is his basket with like cones and his sunglasses that he loves to put on and off and he just always says cool guy when he puts them on. Combs were like his favorite thing for the longest time that he would carry around the house. There's the closet that he doesn't really have access to yet. That's where um, the guinea pigs sleep because it's a giant walk-in closet and that way he's able to be safe from like trying to feed them or get into their room overnight but then he loves to wake up and open it and feed them breakfast. Up here shelf of crystals, a pentagram garland, and a like blanket tapestry that our friend knit for him when I was pregnant. Over here is 
Ravens Library. So I absolutely love getting books for him and he loves reading books too. Um, so there's a ton in there and a ton more on my wish list for him. Um, it's like one of our favorite things to do. This is his dinosaur collection. And then underneath is puzzles. A lot of these I thrifted, same with the books, but he's really not into puzzles that much yet. He might take some pieces out and like throw them around or hit them on something, but he's not really interested in how they fit together yet. But we'll get there. I just try to follow the things that he likes to do, um, but give him some options at least so that he can start to understand that puzzles are a thing. Up here, we have his wolf. <laughs> and then this little, I don't know, hanger thing that I put up for his silks. He only has two so far. There's room for like one more at least. Down here. He has his animal collection, which is definitely his favorite thing to play with from the very beginning. Like, he loves making them talk and walk around and everything and make the animal noises, especially like the bear. Then up here, I have more pentagrams. Um, this is the Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod poem. I wrote it out for him so that I could kind of read it easily at night. My mom memorized it and always read it to me when I was little. And then up here I have a broom that I think we got from an antique store, Josh and I did. His little bat that we got like a craft fair, a dream catcher my grandma sent him. Um, those flowers are from his six month, like half birthday. And then a moon garland I made a long time ago. A lot of things are just collected over the years and then I felt like they fit his room, so we gave it to him. Then here, as you see, Soul is <laughs> being very cozy. I had to put Raven to sleep in our room tonight so that I could film this while he was asleep, and Soul took the opportunity. So, anyway, his bed is a like a floor bed. Um, it's a full-size mattress. It's just it's the easiest way for us, and that's a crib mattress still, so that if he rolls. <laughs> can uh, land on that but I mean that's not very high up either so those sheets I really love them even though he hardly ever slept in his crib because he hated it but those are from Brixton Phoenix and those little sons that blanket my mom had handmade for him whenever I was pregnant for a baby shower and he used it a lot in the car seat this bed set I just got for him and I love it so much from Target um, that fluffy pillow is from Hobby Lobby, and I hate Hobby Lobby, but I love the pillow. <laughs> His bat, it's a, what is that, jelly, jelly cat plushes or whatever. That's his blanket that has his dad's face on it while his dad's gone, and like a reading pillow. And then there's all kinds of stuff down here. <laughs> So having this mattress here also helps because he can grab a lot of books and bring them over here and read in a cozy spot. That basket is all bedtime based books. Except for this one, this one makes me cry because it's like a deployment based book for while Josh is gone. And it's like, so sad, <laughs> but I love it. I thought it was a helpful book, especially as Raven gets older. This is um, more plushies. I didn't even know that I got the tiny and big version of this. I think I got this while I was pregnant. These moon pillows are what I make, I used to make a lot in my shop. I just don't really do any of that anymore because I'm always taking care of him. But I made those for my Etsy. This little owl is one of the only like electronic plushes I like because it shines stars on the ceiling. And then that's a little bat I made for him has lavender inside and there's like another bat pillow I always called him little bat when I was pregnant so that's why there's so many bats all right and up here we have two suns that were from probably just the dollar store some more bat stickers and that sun we found 
when we went on our trip to um, show Rave in the Ocean for the first time, and we went into the store that had a ton of things hanging from the ceiling, and he was like obsessed. So we got him one, which I love. This little tapestry was made by our friend Shelly, um, who hand dyes fabrics and does a lot of textile art, and it's so beautiful. Up here is his first shelf. So I definitely wanted a few shelves in his room because there's some things that I like want on display without him being able to touch right now. So up here, I actually just put this smoky quartz there the other day. It's our family smoky quartz because it has a trio. That is a puzzle. That's a raven. It says raven. And a wolf that says wolf. I got from a shop off of Etsy that I'll link. Um, this is another Holtz-Tiger animal, but it's pretty small and I don't want him to eat it. And then this little airplane is from a wooden toy shop on Etsy that I'll also link. And those little wings he got from like a plane ride from the flight attendant or whatever. Those blocks are perfect. Our friend gifted them to him and they're Uncle Goose blocks. They have a lot of really awesome blocks, especially for like witchy people. And this rattle we got from a local shop here, and he really fell in love with shaking it because he loves the sound. But I keep it up here so he doesn't poke everybody's eyes out. All right, and headed this way we have the moon. My sister-in-law gifted that to us, and I love it so much. I feel like it's magical. So going from the moon, I will go to his second shelf. Like that's the best way. So up here we have in his bat jar, it has like a bunch of things that we've collected on walks, like rocks and all of Raven's treasures. <laughs> and then those are his cake toppers from his first birthday made by Jillian Glynn Art on Etsy and I'll link her. And then the music box that plays Howl's Moving Castle music, I wanna show you. That bat, I think was from Target or Michael's and I painted it for him. And then we have like a raven or a crow up there. And then this box that we got for him. I'm gonna show you, it has crystals inside. Tiger's eye, Jasper, and I think blue calcite. So yeah, my mother-in-law made this as like a present for me and Raven um, for Easter, and I love it so much, especially because Hal's Moving Castle was his first birthday theme that I chose, even though he doesn't even know the movie yet, but maybe one day he'll love it. <laughs> but I love it, that's for sure. Okay, I'm back over here, we'll go to the floor. That's all of like his plushy, soft type toys. There's a bunch of different stuff. A lot of these were like, mine or like me and josh's before and then some of them are new i'm definitely like a stuffed animal person and an animal person so it probably has too many but i don't care this was hand knit by my friend shelly's mom and it's so sweet and there's a little bat that goes with it too i think it's in here somewhere aha here it is it's the cutest it was such a special gift. And then this little shelf I got off of like Facebook Marketplace. Like that's the only place I'd get rattan things mostly because they're trendy and super expensive. <laughs> but this is where I put like his seasonal books or theme displays of books. So right now that display is all of like the Beltane springtime books that I set out for him. And then moving on over here, this is his little toy area. I wanted him to have some toys in his room, especially since he has a floor bed because then he's able to choose to like get up and play if he wants to and then go back to sleep. Um, I follow more of the Montessori approach with that. I want him to have the autonomy to choose if he, you know, doesn't feel tired and he wants to get up and he's able to have some of his stuff. But I didn't want to have a ton of super loud toys in here, just more of like problem-solving slower toys. 
So this shelf, I'm following a bit of a Montessori approach, whereas like there's like one in each section. He definitely goes more for the ones on top than the things underneath. And I would rotate them out if we had more, but I mean, that'll just happen over time. Right now he doesn't really have a ton for me to even change out. I kind of just change the display of them. So, or even like, I'll change this cloth on top. So I found this duck basket at like Goodwill, pretty sure. And he's kind of freaked out by it and he kind of loves it. He can't decide. But this has a bunch of those like rubbery bath toys. I just don't want to put them in the bath because I'm like afraid of the mold thing. <laughs> but he likes playing with them. And then this thing I feel like he got from family for Christmas and it plays songs and stuff. He kind of likes it. The songs are actually pretty good considering it's a kid's toy. <laughs> Over here is Rainbow Flats, which I really love building with. He might one day, he kind of just loves carrying this stuff around right now. Oh, and here's Baki, if you hear. <laughs> um, then here is Rainbow Stacker. Both of those things are like dupes for Grimm's. Um, Grimm's toys are incredible and I actually got him something for the future, but they're, they're hundreds of dollars <laughs> that I don't have. It's not good to shop off of Amazon or, you know, Walmart, and I know those things, but I don't have that much money. So, make do with what I can get, and, you know, they're fine. I'd say, obviously, the quality of something like this is not that good. Like, it chips pretty easily compared to something that you would invest in, but mm, we don't care at all. This I thrifted, which is good. <laughs> Just one of those, like push down toys I don't know he likes it but I'm glad that I thrifted it because it's not something that he's gonna play with for a super long time so I'd rather spend like a couple bucks and then give it to another kid this he got for Ostara it's from Plan Toys and they have a lot of really cute stuff <laughs> so yeah Rocky's gonna join us for this toy part Down here are some soft blocks that my mom sent him and he loves stacking them and then clapping each time. That basket, I feel like that was probably from Target during Halloween. Since we love Halloween and spooky things, we buy him a lot of stuff during that season. And we buy a lot of stuff in general during Halloween. <laughs> this is like a soft stacker, which he still has never really stacked, if I'm being honest, but he loves taking it apart and like throwing it everywhere. <laughs> so, whatever works this i love this cauldron it got this antiquing and this just has all of his wooden toys these guys are gorgeous they're from orlando's wooden toys and they're meant to be teethers i keep them out because i love them then he never really used teethers at all he just screams <laughs> instead of using anything oh i have one more i got the whole halloween collection because it's freaking beautiful and then these are just other all of his little things. Oh, this one's a bat. Everything wooden. I just keep them out because having like small things around for him to put in con like containers or carry are always fun. And then one of these guys that I always wanted but I only ever played with at the doctor's office. <laughs> so he's starting to get more into that. Um, I also got that from Goodwill, so. Which was, I feel like, a good find, because usually at Goodwill you only find, um, plastic toys and, like, really dirty toys, to be honest. But I love when I find, like, cool wooden things. And then this. This is super expensive. It's ooh, no, or oh, no. It was a very expensive push cart, to be honest. But I was just obsessed with it, because it, it was black and a moon and it's perfect and he did learn how to walk pushing this thing around josh put sandbags in it and he really that was what made him take off because he would never hold our hands to learn how to walk he doesn't like doing he doesn't really like being helped in that way maybe he's like me and very stubborn <laughs> but this helped him like really pull up and then inside it, oops, for now, since he's walking and running all over the friggin' ceiling, um, inside it is blocks that are from this, like, castle block set from Target around Christmas time. And he likes it. He's just starting to begin to, like, build things. So, 
it takes some time but it's good to put toys out early and just let them get used to things over time and then one day they just start building out of nowhere then moving on from this toy section we have this little rug that i got when i was pregnant and it made me think of the moon that i'm in love with this is this section that is a work in progress but it's like um what is it called i don't know people will call it like a peaceful corner or a calm down corner whatever i've seen a lot of stuff about it but um i wanted a space for him to go especially the older he gets where we can let him calm down have a moment of peace and like think about his emotions and learn about it so over on the wall i put jack-o-lanterns but but three like basic emotions that he could be feeling and then these are little things i found i feel like off of pinterest and they're just coping mechanisms because i i'm trying to help him with both um, it's a group effort. I also need help, but to sort of learn how to identify how he's feeling and kind of notice that in his body and then also have a game plan for how you can help that other than hitting or, you know, hopefully not having like full on tantrums, but it happens. But still, this is just like a space that we can go to and start trying to learn those things. And actually the other day he finally started pointing at these things and like he learned that one says hug a bear and he like hugged his stuffed animal or taking a deep breath he's starting to learn that one and he's not even one and a half so they really do learn that stuff pretty early this is my main reminder when their storm meets our calm co-regulation occurs that is always what i'm trying to remind myself to control my own emotions so that i can help him and then in here, over time, I want to add different things, but for now, I just have all of his dolls. It's kind of better to have blank face dolls if you want to talk about emotions, because they can kind of visualize how they're feeling on there, but that's all right. And then I have this little nightlight that's just over here, and then this book that has pictures of me and Josh so far. And then this guy is weighted, so sometimes people say like, Having weighted things or weighted blankets, weighted stuffed animals can help them. And it's filled with lavender. And then just some things to hug his pillows. And then there's like a lot of his baby blankets down there. So just like a good safe space instead of a time out, like a time in kind of a place. Because the older he's getting, he actually can benefit from that, especially being Sagittarius Sun and Aries Moon. <laughs> And then up from there is his final wall to show you guys. So we have that name like plaque from my mother-in-law to him. She gave us that um, during the baby shower, which I love she handmade that. And it's really cool. It has all kinds of like texture in it. And then this is the besom I made. Um, for the birth. I didn't end up bringing it to the hospital, but I made it in honor of the birth and with my intentions. And then this is his first Christmas present from Josh. It's a tiger's eye, Lola. We have pentagram, um, garland again. Those are all, I mean, I had those in here already, so I decorated them in different spots. His little bat skeleton, like his raven one. This broom, I feel like this is a cinnamon broom. I feel like somebody sent this. I think that was from Shelly from like a few, like several years ago. This little guy I think was from like Ross or something during Halloween that I love. These are Raven's first little artworks when he was just a few days old. It was like trying to get handprints. Oh, I think I hear him waking up. <laughs> And this is a painting I did of his heartbeat that I like had printed out during ultrasound. So I love it. So anyway guys, that's Raven's room. It's changed like a million times while I was pregnant and now in the first year. So I'm sure it'll change a million times more, but wanted to capture it before it changes again because I love this room so much and it's like filled with all of my favorite things. Kind of like our house. It doesn't have a theme but it's just filled with a bunch of stuff we love and 
it's starting to be filled with things that I know that he loves. So that makes it more and more exciting all the time. So anyway, if you have a question for where stuff is from, let me know. Um, I know there's some things I'm changing soon, like getting a cover for that one chord and like um, getting him a nightlight and just different things as he gets older. But this is it for now. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.